percent, 10%, 15%, your take home even becomes higher. So on day one, when the bill passes, you don't even have to wait until you retire to see a benefit. You will take home, you will, your take home will be higher per year. When we look at the numbers and we did, we model, if you save and add a million shillings and you save for the next year, 25 years now, and you save for the next 35, when you're, when you're 30 years, when you're going to be 55, these are the numbers that play out. Your balance under the current regime would be 300 million shillings. Under the same assumptions, your balance in the new law will be 344 million shillings after taxation. So you win on day one, you win along the way, you win at the end. And moreover, it says that if you just waited for an additional five years, the what you can do, which is really smart, is you know, account one will already reinvest that money for you. You wait until you're 55 and you take it, no taxes. Then all the new monies that you have begun saving, wait an additional five years, take it, no more taxes. So it allows us to be flexible in terms of what we do, and we think it's good for our workers, it's good for all of us in that area. Many people have been thinking that the law will be retrospective. In other words, what you save the NSA will be taxed going backwards. No. The law will not be respected, will not go backwards. It will start from the day that that law gets passed. So when you look at it as a country, we've actually passed a law that's one of the best international practices in Kenya, South Africa, the US, Malaysia, Singapore. They are applying the same law in terms of tax, tax regime to encourage savings. One final number that you'll be, uh, you'll be shocked about. When we model the this, if we just took the current membership of NSF, no more addition, no more incrementing salaries, and we rent for the next 30 years, assuming that that's what stays. These are the numbers. Uganda today is a 100 trillion shilling economy. The GDP of Uganda is 100 trillion shillings. Let's assume Uganda grows by 7%. In 30 years, the economy will be about 760 trillion shillings. The savings under NSF will be 380 trillion shillings, which is 40% of GDP. Right now, our savings rate as a country is 11%. The Malaysia's, the Chinese.